Hi everyone, happy sunny Sunday. Um, I'm Latanya Renee, and you remember we last spoke, I told you that I'm opening a brick and mortar location for a boutique and spa. So I wanna just give an update as to what's gonna be happening in this upcoming week. Right now, I am waiting for the landlord to provide me with a clean lease. In, in essence, what a clean lease is, um, initially we started off with a set of terms. Um, we went back and forth. I read line, he read line, he accepted things, I accepted things, sent it to my attorney. My attorney had some additions and he would go back and look at the information and determine what he was willing to accept. And then I had to accept those terms. So we went back and forth and we are now at a point where we are agreeing on terms. So the landlord is going to send a clean lease for me to sign and for him to sign. The lease terms that I have for this brick and mortar is three years. Um, that's the minimum that he would accept. Um, I would have liked for the space to be a little bit larger than what it is um, in square footage. However, I thought maybe it's all for the best that um, the square footage I have um, right now is going to allow for me the opportunity to really get my feet planted and give me the opportunity to grow. So I think it's for the best. The great thing about the location is that I'm in a large strip mall. In the large strip mall, there's a large grocery store. There's a large um, restaurant that's very popular. There is a large workout um, facility that's there. There are no, no other clothing boutiques in this strip mall. Um, so that's a good thing. There is a nail salon at the end of, uh, at the beginning of the strip mall that does um, some waxing but none, nothing that I'm really worried about because we're gonna have an esthetician where we're specializing in that space. So I'm in a good position as far as the services that I offer and not having a lot or very little competition in the strip mall that I'm located in. The one thing that I wanted to talk about when you are looking at your lease, be very aware and cognizant of the HVAC. I've heard horror stories about the HVAC and you want to make sure that when you are getting that lease that you um, agree on terms where you're not going to be stuck trying to redo another HVAC that could kill your business. So I think that's really important. Another thing that I wanted to mention is the fact that I started with a broker. The reason I started with a broker is because I know what I know, but I don't know what I don't know. And it was important for me to have someone, a professional that understood the space. So those are my tips for when you're starting out and trying to get this done. Thanks and have a great day.